today we'll be talking about merging records. Merging records using the merge wizard for both contacts and accounts. I'm using uh, version in for version 8.2.1 for the merge today. I'm looking at the web client here. Um, they should be pretty much the same even if you're not using the web client and even if you're using a lesser version like 8.0 or something like that. It should look pretty much the same. This hasn't changed too much. So I've logged in here as admin and you would have the rights have to have the rights in order to merge records of course. Um, and I'm just going to go to let's go to our customers uh, tab here or a group and I'm going to go over to the list view and we'll look at merging entire accounts first. I don't have any duplicates in here so we'll just pretend we have duplicates by choosing a couple different records. So if I just highlight this add foods, I'm not going to click on the hyperlink, of course, I'm just going to click on the line item itself and holding down my control key, I'm going to go and choose the second one, the all-in-one that I want to merge with it. After I do that, I'm just going to right click here and you'll see I have the option for merge records. I'm going to go ahead and click on merge records. And it shows me my two different records here, the source record, 80 foods, and the target record all in one. So, of course, the target record is the record we're going to end up with. To start off, they've only shown us two, four, six, seven fields here. So they're only showing us uh, values in fields with different that have different values. So if they're different, they're showing up here, and we can choose which values we want to keep. So if the main phone is the correct one on the source record, we can choose that one rather than the one on the target record. If um, the number of employees is more correct on the source, we can choose that one and it takes the radio button off of the target record. We can also choose to show all fields here. So it does show me all the other fields, but all these fields are blank. So they're really not pertinent because they're just going to merge blank into blank, which is fine. So if I say hide the duplicates or if the record was the same. So now it went back, so we'd have to rechange them back again, those two records or those two fields within the record from the source going into the target. Then I'm just going to go ahead and click on Next. And now it says create links to merge your address records. So it's showing me I have an address record from AD Foods here and an address record from All in One. Now I don't want to select and link those because then I'm going to only end up with one address. If I want to keep both addresses in the one record, I just leave them unlinked here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on Next again. Now it says unlinked contacts from AD Foods to unlinked contacts from All in One. Again, if I select Mike here and I select Bud and link them, I'm going to end up with one record. It's linking the two together like they were the same contact in two different records. These aren't. I want to keep both of these individuals on the one All in One record when we complete our merge here. So I'm just not going to link them. Click on next again, and it's going to go ahead and merge those two records. And I end up with uh, all in one here is the record I merged into. So if I click on the all in one record, now I see that that mic has merged over into the contacts here as well as the original contact has stayed here, Bud. If I look at um, my addresses, you'll see here I have multiple addresses now listed underneath here. So I've got the Davis one we see on the top of the record right down here, and then they have the other one um, from the other record that moved, merged into this. It also merged in the 503 phone number for me here, and let's look at the details. I think we should have had like 45 employees. There it is there. So it merged in all the correct data into one record. My other record has been deleted, and it's gone. So you want to make sure that you 
really want to do this before you go ahead and merge those records. At the very least, make sure that you have a backup of the database uh, just prior to working on your merges here. So that is merging one, con one account into another account, including all the contacts at that account get merged together. So any history come al it came along with them. Now, if I go to my contact level, let me open up my uh, RDP so I can remote into that server and we can look at the client where we do have the tools in there also. So, and of course, if you're using web, those would only be accessible um, from, they would only be accessible from the server itself. So that's why I'm logging into the server here and then we can go directly into the LAN client. Server's opening here. Let me find my LAN client. Over on the right side here. There it is. My LAN client into the eval database. And as that opens then, let's go to contacts and let's try it here. Let's try just choosing two of them again with my control key and I'll choose merge records. There we go. This is what I wanted to see. So it's telling you up on the top of this screen. Now I'm in the land client doing the merge and it's telling me the terminology up in the top here, primary merge delete and ignore. The primary is the record that's going to be kept when the operation is complete. The merge record are the ones that will be merged into the primary, all history and all activities and contacts if applicable if we were in the uh, accounts. All associated history and activities will be removed from the database and the primary record will be kept. So that's if you choose delete. And if you choose ignore, the record won't be affected at all. So for each one of these records, so if I highlight the first one here, the primary, you see it changes in the background. It's going to stay as Georgia. The second one is Dave Adams that it's going to merge into. I can double click on either record here and choose one of those statuses that we just read up above there. I'll leave it as it is. So Georgia Adams is going to remain and Dave Adams will be the merge E will merge into Georgia Adams. So we'll lose Dave Adams' name because it, we're just merging contacts here. We also have a checkbox here that says merge the fields from one to one tables. Um, primary record wins. So there again, it's going to look at one to one fields like work phone, mobile phone. But if Dave Adams has a mobile phone, it would merge it into the primary record into the mobile field. If he has a home phone, it would merge it into a home. But if he's got a work number or a fax number, it's going to retain the primary records and throw his away. So if we go ahead and click on OK here, one is primary, one is merge, we'll end up with Georgia. It merged those two records. Uh, Dave Adams is no longer here. Uh, Georgia Adams, if we double click on her, is the record that remained. And you'll see here it did merge in a mobile phone number. So Dave must have had a mobile number on his record. So it merged that right into there. Now also if we go up to tools, manage, uh, I'm sorry, maintenance, and we can check for duplicates. We also have our duplicate wizard in here where we can check for duplicate contacts. Uh, we could check all records. I'll say entire database. And we'll just check first name again to see if we can come up with something here. And then we have some default behavior here. So if you're going to merge the whole database, it says, by default, what do you want to do? Um, do you want to merge into the record with the most history, merge into the record with the, the last one created, the first one created, the last one modified, or the first one modified? Or do you want to delete all but the one with the most history? Or delete all but the last one created? Or the first one created? Last one modified, first one modified. So this is default behavior. 
you will have a chance to change this again but before I run into this let me cancel this I want to do this actually from the list view so let me go back to my list view so I can see both records here then I'm going to go tools maintenance uh, check for duplicates contacts again all records entire database first name only in this instance usually we would be doing something like account first name last name and probably main phone number and we want to make sure this show confirmation dialog box is on so it will show us anything that's going to merge and then let it go ahead and search here it came right down to the bottom here and it found a right and if I can click on the next one it found a manual so we're looking at first name only that's why it's finding these and then it found a Griffin so we could say okay a right is the primary record uh, the secondary a manual yep we want to merge that one into the first one and the third one a Griffin no that one's totally different we can just say let's ignore that one so it's going to ignore the one and merge the other two together if we wanted to skip these duplicates altogether we could just skip and go on to the next but I could say okay here and it goes to my next it finds here it found Alan Jordan and then it found Alan Mitchell do we want to merge those together or not no let's skip those skip it found Alex's all these Alex's that it could merge together if we wanted them to so here you'd make your decisions whether you wanted to merge uh, again double clicking on here merge ignore delete or make one of them the primary or skip again so if you just wanted to look through your database and see how many duplicates you actually have out there you could just scroll through here and just keep skipping not doing anything just to see what's actually going on out there again now let's cancel here let me go back into that again so anything I had merged would take effect there I'll go to all contacts here back to my maintenance and check for duplicates and let's check all records entire database this time I'm going to say by account and last name and first name click on next now the for the account here I'm going to double click on that and say I only want to compare the first five characters so if it's Anderson SEN and Anderson SON it would still find that because it's only comparing the first five characters we can do that with all the fields but I'll leave the first last name and first name have to be identical click on next again we've got our default behavior here and show confirmation dialog box I'll click on finish and there it found my David Scardino for me here which one is which I can highlight either one I can see it in, unfortunately I can't go back and open these records so whatever I see on this line here is all I'm going to be able to see on those two records of course unless I unless I uh, quit my wizard and go and actually look at those two records but I can choose which one is primary which one is the merge again then I can say okay let's merge those two and it went through the rest of the database there and that's the only two records it found that had first name last name and the account name that were identical or account name with the first five characters so it finished my entire database there so that's a way to do the entire database that can be a little bit overwhelming if you've got a very large database sometimes I just prefer to do uh, do them on the fly here as I find them highlighting a couple and choosing merge records and choosing what we want to do at that point at that point I could even be on the detail view here because I could see in the background uh, more information here so I might want to make sure that I'm looking at the notes and history tab prior to going into the wizard and then I could see what notes and history are, are there and whatnot so and we can also use that as we saw if I go tools maintenance again check for duplicates we can also do that on the account side so I would want to make sure that I'm in accounts 
maybe go to the account level. I'll click on show the history here and I could put the contacts up in the middle pane. So I've got a lot of information I could see right there. Now if I go tools, maintenance, check for duplicates, I can say duplicate accounts, click on next, I'll check all records, and next, the entire database, next, and we'll check by the account name only. Click on next, I'll say the whole, well, let's go with five characters again. And next again, we have our default behavior there. I'll leave it at merge records into the record with the most history. Click on finish. And here it found Abbott Worldwide. And for the primary, it found Abbott Limited. So in Abbott Limited, we've got several contacts there. In Abbott Worldwide, we've only got two contacts. So maybe we do want to merge worldwide into limited. I could say go ahead and merge those two, and it moves on to the next. Here it found advising group with two contacts, only one activity there. Here it found one contact with one activity there. So kind of a toss-up, we'd have to look at address information, phone number information, decide which one we're going to. Maybe we want to leave this one. I can just skip it, go on to the next. Here it found Alexander Khan and Alexander Leathers. No, they're not the same at all. Skip those, move on to the next. Alpha Data and Alphabet Soup. Totally different, skip them. So you can go on and on, either merging them together or skipping them when you're done or if you get pulled away to another project and you have to quit. You can cancel here. It's not going to undo what you already have done. It'll keep that information that you already did. So, um, and I don't know what the, my issue was with the promoted records. I'll have to check into that on the web. But the LAN client certainly is a sure bet if you want to go in there and merge records right from the LAN client. Probably the best and the, the easiest way, of course, that information is all going into the same database. So whatever you merge together will still be merged together out in your web client once you go out there. If you got any other questions about merging records, either contact or account, uh, certainly let us know. We'll certainly try to get those answered for you. Um, until then, we look forward to seeing you the next time. Thanks for joining us in this webinar in talking about merging rep records, both contact and account. Have a great day.